Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase and another updated custom, that is my Anthony Ainley Master. Now just very quickly, the reason that you've been getting so many customs videos this week, just to explain, um, this isn't a change in my schedule, it's just that I've had to free up some disk space and uh, I've got, uh, I've pre-recorded a lot of things, uh, probably more than I should, and I've just needed to free up some disk space so uh, you've got some more videos, but lucky you guys. But anyway, uh, yes, I... Looked at my Anthony Ainley figure recently. Um, I was very pleased with how it came out, but the more I looked at it recently, the more I just thought that there were there was some small changes that I could make to it just to make it look that bit better. And that's basically what I've done. Um, so I'm just going to take you over what I've what I've done. Um, first of all, um, I might try and put a picture up on screen. You've probably already seen it before. I've said this because it's only just occurred to me as I'm talking. Uh, so you can compare between the two, but uh, now I want to sort of show you what I've done for this. Um, so it's very simple. I've got to be very careful with this because I literally just before I started filming, I dropped him and his head's very loose. So I'll try and bring it a bit closer to camera. So starting from the top, um, I've redone the collar because the collar I cut way too um, wide. And so I've just used some milliput to slant it back down and obviously put on uh, some more designs. Um, I've given him some uh, shoulder pads uh, as well. Um, I need to tidy those up a little bit, but again, it just it just adds a little bit more sort of um, detail to uh, to his um, body. And obviously, he's now got uh, buttons down the front as well. So if I turn around again, you can see the detail on the collar. Uh, moving down on the back, uh, obviously, he's got tails on here now. Uh, these are just sculpted on with milliput. Originally, I did have um, just ordinary pieces of plastic, but they kept falling off, so I just decided to sculpt on some new ones. Um, around the front, uh, where I've trimmed off, obviously, for those wondering as well, this the base of this is just a Roger Delgado. Oops, nudging the camera. A Roger Delgado um, figure. So all I've done here is where I've trimmed off the front, I've just put a bit of milliput around the edge of the jacket here just to line it off. And then also just added uh, some buttons on the trousers. And uh, just for the sake of going again, this was in the previous video, but I'll show it again now. Uh, his little, it's very rare I make accessories for my, um, for my customs. It's not something I ever plan to do in future. But uh, for those wondering, uh, his little TCE is actually a uh, Delgado Master TCE with the end of a um, Matt Smith 11th Doctor. Sorry, I've got to adjust my leg, got pins and needles. <laughs> um, uh, a Matt Smith 11th Doctor um, uh, sonic screwdriver on the end and that's literally pretty much all I've done for this. Um, now obviously I've spoken about it in some of my other videos I'll touch on it very recent I'll touch on it very quickly here um, for those that are wondering. Uh, the reason as far as I'm aware that we have never had an Anthony any release uh, in his proper outfit and also the reason why we have never had a uh, re-release of the Planet of Fire version is allegedly, as far as I'm aware, because there were disagreements between uh, the BBC character options, Underground Toys, and his estate over the use of his likeness. Um, personally, I think the head, this head, is off the um, Planet of Fire master. Personally, I think they've done a brilliant job of his likeness, and um, I certainly hope they uh, not only re-release the Planet of Fire, figure in future but they also do eventually give us a uh, proper um, figure. Um, obviously the heads are quite uh, rare and hard to get hold of now and also the um, the Planet of Fire figures, the Planet of Fire figure set, um, that, that's quite rare as well. So uh, if you have one of the heads spare then certainly I would recommend making this figure. It's incredibly easy to make. Literally all I've had to do is um, trim down the neck uh, trim down the uh, collar and cut off the front and then just do small bits of sculpting and it's all there together. Um, if you have one of the Anthony Ainley figures uh, still relatively mint and or you have one boxed, um, I would recommend keeping it um, simply because of its its worth and its, and its value. It would be a shame to see somebody uh, take one apart uh, to make this figure. Obviously, yes, I know I've had to do, do that to make this figure, but um, I actually have another... Uh, I have another um, two Anthony Ainley Planet of Fire figures in my collection, one boxed and one unboxed, and obviously I've got this one in my collection as well. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you all a quick uh, update video on this because, as I said, you know, I was really pleased with um, I was really pleased with my original figure that I made. But 
Um, it was just, they were, like I said, it was just some small things. And I think one thing actually I have to say, on all, out of this figure, the one thing that really does make it stand out and makes it look a lot better is just the addition of the shoulder pads. It really does just make it look more like he did in the actual episode. And obviously it's the little things as well, you know, like adding the back, um, oops, um, adding, you know, the tails at the back of the coat and the buttons and things like that. But just generally, like I said, it's, it's the shoulder pads that really sort of, you know, make him stand out more and make him look, um, make it look a lot more like uh, the Anthony Ainley costume rather than Anthony Ainley in Roger Delgado's costume. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to give you all an update because uh, I know this was very popular the first time I posted it and um, it, it's, it's one of those figures that's so easy to make. As I said, if you've got the parts spare, then I would highly recommend... Um, making it because it's a figure that so many people want and it's a figure that's so easy to make and i just think it is it is one that i do hope we do see in in future um but yes but that's that's all for this video and my updated uh Ainley master custom as always i hope you enjoyed this video like favorite subscribe share it really helps me out a lot be sure to check out the description below for a link to my patreon there is an exclusive web comic and rewards people who support it and the funding generated by my patreon helps me fund future videos I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.